Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to play Fairy Tale of New York. Fairy Tale of New York is a masterpiece uh, written by the Pogues and it's one of the few Christmas songs that is actually commonly played uh, not at Christmas as well. I'm going to show you all of the different parts including the intro, the verse, the chorus and the instrumental and I'll show you a few ways to give it some Irish ornamentation. Let's start off with the intro which is just a couple of bars leading into the first vocal section. that's the intro, that's something you will have to play uh, as the fiddle player um, in probably in unison with other instruments if you've got let's say a mandolin or tin whistle or accordion something like that. Um, the, getting the timing of this is not necessarily easy so you have to do a good deal of looking at one another and listening to one another to make sure you get this in time. Then we have the, uh, the vocal line and I'll, I'll, I'll first of all give you that vocal line so that's twice round there's two more times to come Let's do that again and I'll, I'll use the backing and I'll play the melody the first two times and the third and fourth time I will play um, answering phrases to the vocal. into the verse. Notice how this phrase is different from the way it's played right at the beginning which was probably due more to a lack of attention in the recording studio than it was to an actual <laughs> intention to do that. So I would say you can take your pick of which of those bars you prefer. Um, then it's uh, the tempo picks up, the drums come in and it's a little instrumental leading into the verse. So let's just do that instrumental. So your main challenge there is just getting it in time with the rest of the band because everyone's going to want to start off at a slightly different tempo. Um, so just listen to the drums, take, uh, lay back a little bit on the first bar and uh, just uh, hope for the best. Then it's into the verse which is um, I think on this it's quite good to actually play unison with the vocal 
because there's a lot of um, on on the original the whistle and the mandolin and all that stuff are doing just that. So the melody is. <laughs> Then you got a bridge. So that's your verse and the bridge. Let's just do that with the backing. into the chorus. Or you could do for the middle of that. Which is more what the backing is doing than what the vocal is doing. Then from the chorus it goes into an instrumental which is um, similar to the verse but not quite the same. And if you happen to play that more like the verse than the instrumental I think that would be absolutely fine. To be honest I've never actually learnt the, <laughs> the difference between the verse and the instrumental. Then we got another bridge and another chorus and then the new instrumental which is um That also works nicely up an octave and that helps to lift it up from the rest of the band. Just hear that with the backing. From there it leads on to verse 2 which is the one with I could have been someone and um, in that verse if you've only got one singer then it's nice to do a harmony. And incidentally, there's quite a few places in this song where you can do uh, Irish ornamentation. Uh, you might have noticed one or two rolls here and there going on. For example... videos on the roll and on the cut which will help you with that. You can also do in quite a few places little drones here and there. And I've also got a video all about the drone in case you're not sure how to do that. So lots to get into there and lots of other places where you can make mistakes, getting tangled up with the arrangement. Um, but it's a great song, well worth learning. I'm going to finish off by playing it uh, from the first, uh, where, the, where the rhythm comes in at the beginning. If you'd like a copy of these dots then do subscribe and send me an email and I will send you a copy. And I'll see you again soon. <laughs>